I am finally ready to keep the past in the past. It's too late for that. Well, you guys weren't just talking about my wife's family by any chance, were you? How did this guest role come about? Was it a situation where you're like, gosh, Odette is having so much fun on that show. I want in on that. You nailed it. Uh, basically, uh, it was a shock to me. Yeah. To both of us. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. Odette was having, um, you know, so much fun on this show. It's not always the case when, you know, you come home from work and you're just like, ah, I had a great day. Everybody's so fun. There's no drama. You know, I got a very fortunate phone call from Anna who was like, hey, we, we our thought showrunner. our showrunner, mm -hmm. who, who, we were, we're thinking of you for this role. Are you interested? And I said yes before I heard anything else. And, Without uh, checking in with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And Odette, the first thing out of her mouth was like, wait, our scenes aren't together, are they? I mean, we spend enough time together. I'm gonna put some, you know, plastic up. Odette, did you give him any uh, do's and don'ts, any advice for fitting in on the Walker crew set since you've already been there for a season? Yeah, I told him not to embarrass me. <laughs> I don't know, if I, I, I don't know if I made, you know, I kept said, up my listen, bargain. I've got a good thing going where I'm working from home for the first time in what feels like years. Please don't screw this up for me or for us. You know, just go in and like do your job and then leave. Oh, so you're Liam Walker. Heard about the election. That's that's wild. I mean, you lost to a guy who was on trial for murder. It's a very different sort of role for you, Dave. Was that like part of the appeal? And was it exciting to get to kind of dig into a darker character? I'm glad you're not asking my wife this because she would say this is the character I was born to play. <laughs> no, <laughs> um, no I, I really am having a lot of fun with him because, you know, he's wildly different from who I am, but I think it's really fun to explore, you know, your mean side. I think Dan's really lost and he's trying to do the right thing, but this is how he deals with situations. And I think that's super interesting and I'm just having a great time. We don't know a ton about him yet. So what would you say are his intentions? All we know so far is that he seems to have an almost obsessive like hatred towards the walker family yeah i would say that he is fiercely loyal and protective of his family the davidsons and i would say that even though his marriage seems to be on the rocks i don't think that phases him i think he's super protective and i think that that's where his motivation comes from from everything that he's doing uh, that uh, jerry has already stated you know she's a walker so she's always going to side with them we haven't seen her really have to like confront Dan yet. This is my friend Geraldine and my brother Liam. Are we going to see her come up against him at all? Are they going to interact or are you happy to keep their two storylines separate? <laughs> as much as we can joke, I would love to have, you know, more scenes with, with Dave on screen because we've done it a few times now and it, and it really is a blast. But, but so far we have kept these characters sort of separate. For Jerry specifically, I'm going along for the ride with the audience, which I think is kind of cool because, you know, I think that a lot of her story is about self-discovery and really kind of trying to be as present as she can be. But if Dan Miller is supposed to cross her path, then she's ready for it. It should be pretty lucky, you know? <laughs> just, just to get some more time with Papa Bear. Great <laughs> <laughs> right for Walker, yeah, for Dan looked... Miller to get in. Yeah. <laughs> We should pitch it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, sort of romantic entanglements this season. I want to start first with Dan and his feelings about maybe there being some unresolved romantic history between Walker and Dan's wife, Denise. Is that something he's picking up on? Yeah, I think that's a great call. I think he's for sure picking up on a thought. I think that it's certainly driving him wild. Again, we talked about, you know, how, how you react in situations. And I think Dan is is not going to handle that the best way. And I think that, you know, comes from a, an insecurity that she's leaving. And there was also a development last season between Jerry and Walker. How are they moving forward this season after that kiss? I think that the point is to kind of stretch this out to be sort of like a Ross Rachel kind of dynamic because Walker and Jerry clearly are very, very fond of each other. They are, they, their history just goes way, way, way back. They're best friends. And, you know, it's a little messy because 
Jerry was Emily's best friend and Walker was Hoyt's best friend. Walker and Jerry bond for so many reasons, but you know, they really are like family and both of them cannot deny the fact that they have crazy feelings for each other. But I think that it's in their best interest for them to kind of shut those feelings down and really kind of try to move forward and heal themselves before trying to be in a relationship that it may not work right now and may be extremely fruitful in, in the future. So I think that they're both really kind of trying their best to shove it down, but it's not working as well as they want it to. I think that in this season, you'll see their individual feelings for each other come out in, in different ways. And I think it's a really interesting thing to play just because they both love each other so much and they know that the timing just isn't right right now. Dave, do you think Walker's the right guy for Jerry? You know, <laughs> I gotta be honest, Dan Miller's got great hair. So <laughs> you never know. Gray. AKA Gray. <laughs> Okay, all right. Yeah, I got her. That's the first time I heard. Yeah, she's hilarious. <laughs> Listen, I, I think he's a class act. I think, you know, if it's not going to be Dan, it could be Walker. I was wondering if you had anything for a guilty conscience. Uh, no. I don't believe there's a cure for that yet. Just got to live with it. Well, this is obviously not the first time you two have worked together on screen and, you know, going all the way back to Brothers and Sisters. And then there was that really adorable freeform holiday movie. And then more recently, yeah. your very fun Fantasy Island episode. So what is it about working together that you love? Well, I have to be honest, when we uh, first worked together on Brothers and Sisters, Dave had presented the idea to me and I did not, I was not interested. We were She's a week a out, we were a week out from getting married. I knew these folks on Brothers and Sisters as, you know, Dave's significant other, and I liked being in that role. Um, and I was also really intimidated, you know, because the show was so critically acclaimed and, you know, Sally Field, and I didn't want to screw it up. And I told Dave, I'm like, listen, we've got a good thing going. I don't wanna, like, what if it's really weird? What if we hate working together? Then we're like, have to get married the, the week after? Like, how <laughs> awkward. Um, but, you know, Dave, of course, he's very, very charming and convinced me that, you know, our future children would, would probably enjoy seeing this. And I thought, okay, let's, let's do this. Do you have plans? Well, if I had plans, would I have basically just invited myself to your family Christmas? What a great story to be able to share eventually, you know, with, well, she, Charlie has seen some stuff now. Yeah. Um, but I also, we also have a great time together on set and, and it's just, it works out that, you know, how lucky that we get to do something together and, you know, and then spend all of our time at home together. Okay. Not a lot yeah. of time together. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we got to save it for the hour we pay. Okay. We got a lot of therapy, but no, honestly, we have a great time and really truly. And it's, we're, we're kind of, which I think is good for our marriage. We're able to leave all the like marriage stuff at home and like go to work. Yeah. And that's, that, that's kind of cool. Uh, and it's literally helped us in certain ways. We've been fighting and we have a, like, we have a cute scene together. We're like, all right, I love you. Yeah, all right, right we're gonna, <laughs> that one go. Okay, we should let that one go. We've been fortunate, I think very lucky, to do it a few different times and do it in very different manners. You know, Fantasy Island where, you know, she's playing and me, a dude, and I'm playing her was, you know, wildly different and a lot of fun. We so. kept sort of analyzing each other. He's like, why are you looking at me that way? I'm like, I need to see how you act. Like, I've never actually just like focused on she doesn't really pay, it, pay attention. Yeah, that's just called. You know, it's just a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she gets it. Good acting. <laughs>